speaker is Gustavo Fernandez. Uh, Gustavo is a San Francisco-based area, uh, Bay Area wedding photographer. He shoots internationally. He's passionate about friends and travel. Who wouldn't be? Especially when the two mix. Growing up in the Dominican Republic, Spain and Italy gave him a love for adventure and faraway places. He's photographed weddings across the U.S., Maui, L.A., Chicago, Phoenix, Florida, New York, Dominican Republic. But I think he loves the Dominican Republic best because that's where he'd like to be and hang out with family and friends or riding his Harley. He's a member of uh, WPI and also serves as area coordinator for Now I Lay Me Down to Sleep Foundation, which I think is really amazing thing that he supports that. And he's a very uh, big proponent of that. So I'd like to welcome Gustavo. Hello, everyone. My name is Gustavo Fernandez. Green is the new black. How to green your home or business in 13 easy steps. I come to you today as the owner of one of the handful of, can of certified green businesses in the San Francisco Bay Area and a photography expert on the Green Bride Guide. So why green? If we intend to leave our children and grandchildren with the same standard of living we have enjoyed, we must preserve the foundation of that standard of living. We save for college, educations, and weddings, but what about saving clean air, water, and fuel sources for future generations? Step one, get a utility company audit. Most public utilities will conduct energy audits for their customers free of charge. A home or business audit will tell you how much power you use and offer specific strategies to help reduce your energy consumption. Step two, replace light bulbs. Lighting accounts for close to 20% of the average electric bill. Each CFL uses about 75% less energy than an incandescent bulb, lasts up to 10 times longer, and each saves about $30 over the course of a lifetime. And step three, lower your thermostat, pack a sweater. By turning the heat down, Americans could save more than 500,000 barrels of oil each day. That's over 21 million gallons. Just lowering your thermostat two degrees will help you save 4% on your electric bill. Step four, energy. Buy Energy Star household appliances and electronics. Even when they're turned off, they can continue to draw electricity as long as they're plugged in. They can add up to 20% of your total energy bill. Unplug them or use a power strip that you can actually turn off. Step five, reduce, reuse, recycle. Is there a recycling program in your community? If not, start one. Recycle your newspapers, beverage containers, paper, and other goods. Support recycling markets by buying products made from recycled materials. materials excuse me. Batteries, every year, 15 billion are produced and sold worldwide. Many are discarded after single use. One of the main things we use as photographers are batteries, so recycle them. Better yet, buy rechargeable ones. Batteries end up in our landfill and heavy metals leach out into our soul and water. Step six, paper. Strive to go paperless, especially since it accounts for about a third of our total waste. Take advantage of programs like Google Docs and online contracts with ShootQ. If you have to print, buy 100% post-consumer recycled paper. Step seven, waste. Take a look at the waste you produce. 84% of typical consumer's waste can be recycled. 50% of the total waste produced are containers and packaging. Think about how you're packaging your product and what your consumer will be doing it with it afterwards. Chemicals, step eight. Stop using chemicals to clean your home or business. Instead of using cleaning products that claim to destroy every germ in their path, there are plenty of natural products and methods that can clean and smell fresh without the toxic side effects. Step nine, transportation. About 20% of all greenhouse gas emissions come from cars and SUVs. Think about getting a hybrid or a car with the best miles per gallon. This is a new Porsche that was just unveiled. It does 78 miles per gallon and zero to 60 in 3.2 seconds. Step 10, water. Stop buying bottled water. It typically costs about 10,000 times the cost of filtered tap water. Buy a filter for your tap and use your own water bottle. You'll help reduce the 60 billion plastic bottles being sent to the landfill every year. Step 11, eat more fruits and veggies. It takes only 1 20th as much raw materials to grow grains, fruits, and vegetables as it does to raise animals for meat. Ranching and slaughter of cows and other animals generates an estimated 18% of greenhouse gas emissions. Step 12, partner. One of the ways to support the green movement is by asking your current vendors about their green practices and what steps they are taking. Question your current practices. Do you still need to provide physical proofs? Maybe you can order the recycled paper proofs instead. These are some of the vendors I partner with, from online image hosting with SmugMug to paperless contracts with ShootQ, Bay Photos recycled paper prints, Simply Color Labs recycled frames, Pixel to Canvas not using chemicals, and Couture Books green albums. And lastly, step 13, educate yourself. One of the funnest ways is to rent one of these movies like An Inconvenient Truth with Al Gore or The 11th Hour with Leonardo DiCaprio. 
If you have kids, make it fun and rent Earth or March of the Penguins. And resources, there are some great resources out there, starting with a new resource for photographers, Greener Photography. Want to get some more tips, check out the Green Guide by National Geographic. The Green Movement is becoming very important, as the Knot has even dedicated a full section of their site to it. So my wish, my wish is for all of you to adapt just one of these ideas listed here and start thinking about how our everyday life impacts the ones around us and our future generations. To not continue buying bottled water, to change a few of our light bulbs to compact fluorescents and make recycling a part of your life. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed my five minutes. Want to learn more about me, go to GustavoFernandez.com or follow me on Twitter at GAFL or Eco Photographer. Thank you.